Thank you and welcome to the Sydney Football Stadium, South Sydney, led out by a new captain today, Jason Sinclair. They haven't won a match in their last four. The last win was at Marathon against the Newcastle Knights. And Sinclair leads the Rabbitohs today with no Craig Field in the team. The Sea Eagles, in contrast, are flying high. Twelve times they've won in their last 13 appearances. They just can't afford to become complacent here today. A loss could see Canberra leapfrog them. That's their main danger. Some of the manly players that uh, are not available, Ian Roberts and Jack Elsgood. And young Rogers off to the left. rendition of the anthem Graham Annesley is the man in charge and this is the 100th meeting of these two great clubs Ninety-nine times they've clashed, and Manly have beaten Souths 50 to 49. They celebrate the century as Carroll goes back to the 20-meter line. Lyons puts on the decoy. Cunningham reaches the 30. Manly getting a feel of rugby league headquarters because they are going to be here. Ladies, by David Gillespie. The football now, jersey number 12. He is in the front row. Mark Carroll drops back into the second row. That's Carroll there, 39 metres out from his own line. Hapawadi, of course, on the wing. Chris Ryan played there last week. This is Dunford. Dunford playing in the front row as uh, Manly Pack is reshuffled. Ridge is kicked down on the 10 metre line. And Darrell Trindle brings it back quickly. Terry Hill went in over the top very solidly. Duncan McRae in the number seven jumper today. His versatility has been epitomized through 1994. 
Hermanson plays it then, and the first penalty of the game goes to the Rabbitohs. They need a good start this afternoon, the Rabbitohs. Seven goal to the World Cup in the last couple of weeks. South then taking the tap. Mestra, the former Manly player, takes it to the 30 metre line. This is Corcoran, he's playing on the wing. McGaw's in the centres. McLean now, across the park, looking for a runner. That's John Elias to play it. Did he lose the ball is the question. Jason Bell links with his captain, Jason Sinclair. Ten metres out from the Manly line. McCray turns it in and Mestrov takes a solid hit. Gets the ball away. Good football by Mestrov. It's gone out wide for Cochran. Cochran, he's over. That's a try. Jamie Cochran in the corner. Oh, very positive work there from South Sydney. Great ball from Tony Mestrov. He was hit in a crunching tackle by two Manly defenders, but was still able to pop the football. A good pass out to the winger, Corcoran, coming in for Craig Gibson. Have a look at this work here from this man. It's a great tackle, but a beautiful offload. And South Sydney, Daryl Trindle throwing the long pass to Corcoran. He takes on Hancock. A little bit of room there and did a great job to get the ball down and stay in the field of play. Beautiful linking here between the, the forwards and the backs. Daryl Trindle, who'll be up in that area all day, along with Duncan McRae. And Corcoran gets over in the corner, despite the attention of two Manly players. Well, that's great stuff. Jamie Corcoran had a tremendous start to the season. You might remember in the Tui's Challenge, way, way back in February, he was one of the stars of this South Sydney side. Trindle from the sideline, and he pulls it just a fraction too far. But South get first blood. 4-0 over Manly at the football stadium. I said John Elias may have lost the ball in this tackle. Well, there's no doubt that he did. In fact, I'm wondering whether it maybe should not have been a penalty to South for raking it out as Manly restarts. Ball comes down on the south line. And Hermanson able to offload. Only not tying the ball up in the early minutes of the game. Played by Aaron McLean now. Cross now for Jeremy Doniger. It was very important for South Sydney to get away to a good start. They haven't played well the last couple of weeks. The two things they do well is chase. But they get behind. You know they're going to keep coming at you, and when they get in front, they don't go into their shell. So they can score four points, I'll be looking to score 40. Here's Elias, bouncing away from Lyons. Almost right on the halfway line. 4-0 in favour of South Sydney as McRae puts the kick in. Ridge on his own 10-metre line. Barrage of South Sydney defenders. Hancock. The tackle has hurt Matthew Ridge. He's slow getting back to the fullback position. Sopawadi gets involved on his own 20 metre line. O'Donnell. Big tackle over the top by Hermanson. Now Tuvi. Across the back. Lions Hill. Ball loose on the ground and towed over the line, I think, by Cliffy Lyons. Yes, Lyons put it out. Good defence in the end there from Jamie Corcoran to put some pressure on the Manly players. Looked like it was going to be an overlap for sure, but that tackle forced the pass from Hill to be a bad one. Duncan McRae working the scrum just outside the 20 metre line for Jason Bell to give to Mark McGaw. McGaw playing in the centres today. And they throw everything at him and McGaw comes away from them. 
18 metres out from the line, they go to the right. They're leaving 4-0. Bell works the angle, they put it down. A touch unlucky there, Jason Sink there. I think you'll find that he actually was falling down as the pass was thrown, just lost his footing. Bell calling him inside. And there's Sinclair losing the footing. That threw him off. The ball went to ground. Manly then. A scrum close to their line. And John Hopawati, a good run. A run full of purpose out to the 20 metre line. That's uh, Owen Cunningham now. Lions. 2v. Space. Ridge. Ridge to the halfway line. Gillespie. They cut him out and Dunford it is with it. They're going to get in trouble against Manly if the inside men are lazy. They run so many angles in their attack. If the inside pass is always on. Lions gets a call. Lions for 2v. 2v on the 20 metre line. The last. Lions. Cuts out of forward. Menzies out wide. That's the turnover. South player injured in back play. Yeah, that's Mark McGaw. Went through very quickly. Missed the tackle on Menzies. It was the last, so it was the changeover as McLean gets out of dummy half. They looked very dangerous when Lions had room. So concern shown over Mark McGaw. He went up at a, millions mi a million miles an hour. He knew that there was trouble. Manly looking to get an overlap. That that impact hasn't uh, hasn't helped Steve Menzies either. I see that he's called for attention as well. A clash of legs there. McGaw taking the shin of Menzies, who is on his feet, so he's come out of that collision better than. South Sydney centre. See the pain on McGaw's face. He's been down a little while now. Trying to step back inside Menzies. That's through. The attempted tackle from McGaw offline. And on comes the Medicab. Mark McGaw. One of many players that went to South, trying to resurrect his career this year. And Shane Wilson moving to the sideline, played a full game in reserve grade. He's had plenty of experience in the top grade. He looks fairly happy to be getting a run. So McGaw stretch it off. The kind of incidents that break people's legs, those kind of collisions. Hopefully that won't be the case with McGaw, but so he's in plenty of pain. Replacement will be Shane Wilson. That is when they get uh, Sparkles McGaw off the paddock. He's shown rejuvenation in form this year. And I think that came about mainly because they moved him back to the wing. And the job of the winger these days is to get involved. If you don't, uh, you're, you're not in the team. It's that simple. There's a lot of work to be done by wingers in the modern game. And uh, Gore has had a very good season playing on the wing. But he's coming off the Sydney Football Stadium via the Medi Cab. Trindle playing it. Hermanson it is. Tackle just outside the 30 metre line, 4 0 in favour of the Rabbitohs. Almost out to the 40 metre line. Bell, Elias, Tyron Smith was lurking on the left. Off the boot of McRae, and it finds the line just outside uh, the 20 metre line, Manley's end of the ground.
President's Cup went to Manly much earlier today. And Manly, of course, won reserve grade as well. Penalty to Manly again south inside the five. Ridge comes up for the place kick shot for line. They believe there's uh, much more accuracy off the place kick. Penalties then at 1 1. As Cherry Hill takes it to within 30 metres of the South Sydney line. David Gillespie. A lot of these players on the other side of the ledger in this match today. Terry Hill, Mark Carroll. As Dunford reaches a 30 metre line, Tony Mestrov. Now Carroll. Almost reaching the, uh, the 20 metre line. South leading 4-0. Here's danger for them though, Tuvi. And a high tackle on the Manly captain will bring a penalty. A careless tackle there, no damage done, but again it's Tyron Smith. There are plenty of times that Tyron Smith has been pulled up for such a tackle. Matthew Rich motions towards the goal that they will take the kick. That's just careless. Throwing the arm out, it's going to, you would believe, cost his side two points. It's unusual that Tyron Smith is so careless with those kind of tackles because defensively, generally, he is very, very strong. Drives with the shoulder. I've also seen him come up with some great shots with the shoulder. That's what he needs to do. Quite a good crowd in at the uh, Sydney Football Stadium for a match of this dimension. Ridge. 81% and uh, he keeps that intact first points of the game for Manly they trail Trindle with the restart. And Carroll is sent on the return by Ridge just beyond the 20 metre line. Dunford on the blind side, linking with Menzies. Smith after Menzies and brings him down. Cunningham. Oh, gee! Oh. This is Tyron Smith again. Touch judge went in very quickly. We could have a problem here. Yeah, there could be in all sorts of trouble here. Tyron Smith, poor defence on the... Yeah, he's he's gone. gone! Tyron Smith has been sent off. Only a few minutes ago, he was penalised for a carelessly high tackle. And this one, I guess, careless and reckless. Yes, he didn't miss Owen Cunningham. He came back inside, but he really got hit high. Arm around the neck area. And, of course, in another game this year between South and Manly, we saw Craig Fields sent off for South. So they've had no luck finishing with 13 against this opposition. As Ridge finds touch. 23 metres out. Here comes Hill. Goes he ran Hancock. the decoy. Hancock is the ball carrier. And they're 15 metres out from the south line. Gillespie. That's where they're at at the moment, Manly. Up against 12 men for the rest of the game. Dunford. Five metres out from the line now. Lions across the back of the ruck and up the centre and over the line, Daniel Gardner. Gardner. 
Bremner gets the try. Well, he's been there a split second. Yes, it's his first touch of the football, Daniel Gartner. He limps back. The cliff lines again coming across, looking for runners. The fact that he carries the ball in two hands puts the defence out. Not read by Terry Hermanson particularly well or Tony Mestrov. You'll see the two big men there caught out by well, the wiliness of this number six. Some ordinary work on the inside from Mestrov there. He didn't trail across. It was only half a yard, but it made all the difference. Daniel Gartner on for Owen Cunningham, the man who Tyron Smith caught with the head-eye tackle. A shake thanks. of the head there. Just going to say thanks, Scoop. <laughs> Matthew Reds then with the conversion of the Daniel Gartner try. His second for the day successful. And Manly leads south by eight points to four. Bad news from the uh, South Sydney dressing room. Mark McGaw, who was taken off earlier, apparently has a fractured right leg. And that's uh, tragic news for, for Mark McGaw. Because as I said at the time when he went off, he, uh, he grabbed this opportunity with South and he'd been doing some very good things for them in a season that has been very good for the Rabbits. Now Manly start to make the ball do the work. Great hands by Hopawati. 35 out from his own line. Cliffy Lyon pushing it along for Menzies. Menzies held by John Elias and also by Aaron McLean. Almost to the 40-metre line. Gillespie calls for it and runs to the blind side. Oh, Gillespie's in space. Looks for Hopawati. This is him over the 20-metre line. Pull down, not held, loses the ball. A oh, try saver there from Daryl Trindle, but beautiful work again from Manly, keeping the ball alive. A couple of very bad misses, especially the first one, Gillespie, that was Jason Bell. The second one, Doniger got pushed off. Daryl Trindle, well, I thought he went into touch anyway. I'm sure the boot touched the line. Rabbitohs trailing 8-4. And with the ball now, 10 metres out from their line. Penalty to South against the Manly player. Cliff Lyons not clearing the play-the-ball area. You can appeal all you like, but if you interfere with the team in attack, the referee really has got no, no alternative. Well, he didn't have any chance of getting out of their lines. He probably had a case for his argument. The referee didn't see it that way. Hermanson thunders outside the 30-metre line. An enormous job on the hands of South now. Tyron Smith sent off as if the job wasn't hard enough. It's now become doubly difficult. Well, there are two ways you can react to that, Ray, as O'Donnell will be penalised for a high tackle. You can either drop your bundle and say, well, we had no chance with 12, or you can believe that you can do something special. Knock over a team like Manly with one player less. If David O'Donnell finds himself at the centre of another controversy. Penalty only. Sinclair finding the line. 35 away from the Manly line. Hermanson! Strong yards. McLean, Corcoran. Scored the first try of the game, Jamie Corcoran, to give South that 4 0 lead. McLean, oh, his pass was forward. Advantage rule. And that's Danny Moore, tackled on the 20 metre line. Carroll pushes it on for Lyons and out for Terry Hill.
Kerry Hill gets outside his man. Fends off with the left hand. Flirting with the sideline. Got the pass in. Hancock. He'll score. Question mark on the pass. Been pulled back. Question mark. More than that has been pulled back. The touch judge call to his centre man. Well, Jerry Hill can't believe it. <laughs> Gee, it was great work. He beat Wilson easily. Trindle got a good shot on him, but Hill hardly moved. The momentum didn't change. That's Corcoran out of the way. Across comes Trindle. Bang. Hill drops the hip. And that pass, yeah, I may have got a touch ball. Souths win the scrum. Hancock was under the posts, but no try. 8-4 then. No change. Though it looked very much like Manly were going to pick up another six points. Mestral. Oh, good strong tackling on McRae. McLean was there to back up. I don't know how much longer Daniel Gartner will be out there, the number 40 for Manly. He scored the try. He was hurt in that try scoring feat, but he hasn't been the same since. He's limping around as Matthew Riggs brings it back, looking for support, finds it in Lyons. Lyons weaving his own magic. Hancock gets into space again. Eventually, he's pummeled into the ground. Tuvi. Hermanson launches himself. Dunford. Gillespie now. Carroll. Then to Lyons. Inside pass. Then flicked out the back. That was a magic ball. Tuvi's tackle. That was Daniel Gartner's pass that I referred to. A blindside raid. Up the centre they go now. Ridge across. And then it's gone through Menzies. On the hill. Terry Hill. And it's intercepted. Oh, Terry Hill can't believe his luck. <laughs> oh, it is a flowing game. <laughs> Throwing the football around. Great defence there from South. Really good confidence and communication between the two men. Corcoran called for the man inside in Wilson to come up with the tackle. Wasn't an easy one, but he did. That allowed the intercept to be taken. South's off the hook once again. Mestrov hands it down for McLean. Done some very good things in this match so far, Tony Mestrov. Jason Bell. Cut out ball as Sinclair gave him the decoy. Corcoran. Corcoran put down 33 metres out from his own line. And a penalty goes to South. It's against the marker. Leaning all over the man playing the ball. Peter Sterling imagined uh, Daniel Gartner has come from the field for Manly. And South, Doniger losing it. And Terry Hill takes the advantage to the 40 metre line. She's really found some form the last three or four weeks. Terry Hill, very strong. Got good speed for a big man. Going to be a plus going into the semi finals for the Seagulls. Tuvi. Dunford getting through a lot of work for Manly. A few metres short of the halfway line now. Terrible pass. Cliff Lyons lets it bounce. Cunningham is back on. And another high shot. Hermanson this time. And Terry Hermanson a couple of times in this game has really launched himself at a couple of players. Notably, Jeff Tuvey on one occasion. This time... Throwing himself in again and come up around the neck head area. Well, this time, Annesley is saying to both captains, any more, and I'm going to start sending more players off. Well, 
mind you, as the penalty goes to Manly. This match is no different than any other South Manly encounter. Great arch rivals, these two clubs. No love lost. Of course, Souths, they lost a lot of players to Manly back in the halcyon days of South Sydney. Likes like O'Neill, Brannigan. They made their way down to South, uh, down to Manly from South. And now here's Gillespie offloading very well. O'Donnell gets it away. Cunningham pushes it on. Terry Hill, he's tackled now 18 metres out from the line. O'Donnell in a dummy half. Works the blind side with Hancock. Super optimism across the back for Menzies. Menzies, the ball goes to ground. I think it may have got a touch from South. It'll be a manly feed. There's nothing on the blind side there, but this pass from Stephen Menzies, or attempted pass, was touched by Tony Mestrov. Almost a centre field scrum, a wide blind. So Lions heads off across the park. Jason Bell makes the tackle together with Jamie Corcoran. They go the same way. Carroll puts his hand up for some more work. O'Donnell, V. Dunford, Dunford on the charge. Flicks it out the back, well done. O'Donnell pushes it out, Lyons inside, Rich chimes in, then Gillespie gets it out the back, O'Donnell is with it, and O'Donnell reaches the 10 metre line, he flicks it out the back, and Manly have come up with the ball, but South are penalised. Attacking the man before the ball had been caught, a little bit unlucky there, I thought Lyons bombed a try, very rarely does he take the wrong option, but he had a lot of players outside, the ball was thrown back in, Final tackle or attempted tackle by South was a touch too early. O'Donnell beating a couple of defenders here. He's looking to flick the ball out the back. And Tony Mestrov, gee, it's only a split second. It's a tough call. The referee was right on the spot. Matthew Rich then from right in front. And Manly increase their margin now, leading by 10 points to four. Manly leading 10-4, Terry Hermanson has been replaced by Brett Langford as Carroll brings it back to the 20-metre line. Both sides have had to make a lot of changes. Of course, Souths in particular are going to have to use their, their interchange and replacements wisely given that they've only got the 12 men. Lyons working the blind through Tuvi. Tuvi tried to hold it back as long as he could, and Hopawati was put away by Melor on the far side of the ground. This is Cunningham getting the play just over the halfway line. Lyons is with it now, and he puts the kick over the head of Trindle and Melor, and Trindle will come away from the in goal. When you're defending with only 12 men, it's still very important to make sure that you get two markers involved in the play. To compensate for the man short means that you play a more compressed defence, and that's the problem. A side like Manly are very adept at getting on the outside of defences. So much work needs to be done. Langford takes a strong hit there from Carroll. As Elias brings it up the blind side. Elias did well. He took on the full brunt of the Manly defence and offloaded for Mestrov. McCray, a kick is well placed and will find touch. 
about 22 meters out from the Manly line. Good kick there from Duncan McRae. Again, it's important when you are a man short to find touch with the kicks. You want to be into set play positions as much as possible. You don't want Manly running the football back. Now you get a chance to set your defence. Lions, Hancock. Lions going himself from dummy half and then working it back to the blind side to Menzies. Dunford. Gillespie. Moore. Through the gap. Jason Bell chases and makes the tackle. Ridge. Tuvey. Cunningham. Hancock is able to clean up. And as he says, play on. Last tackle now for Manley. Clippy Lyons goes to the air. Ridge is coming quickly. And well done by Daryl Trindle. He didn't have the advantage of a running start, but he was still up above the pack. This is McCray now, wrapped up just outside the 20-metre line. Mestrov looks to be inspired by the fact that he's playing against Manley. Donig has uh, knocked it on. Scrum will go down about 40 metres away from the South Sydney line. Ten four in favour of Manly. Lions through to Hill and back for more than then Lions and now Hancock. Oh, great tackle, Paul Mellor forcing the ball loose. He read that superbly. They made a mistake. Very intricate move from Manly. They created the overlap, but Mellor read it superbly. Came up with a strong tackle. The referee somehow seen a knock on there. Have a look at this. Lions throws the ball on. They run a double reverse triple cross. Then comes Mello. You can see the unmarked Manly player on the outside, but Mello forced the mistake. Great work. South winning the scrum. And Jason Bell finds an opening. Turns it back for Cliffy Lyons. Then for Tuvi. Tuvi's tackle just outside the 40-metre line. Jason Bell was into an opening, but no, no support to be found. Played by Carroll. Dunford on the blind side. Hill, short ball away for Menzies. Elias makes the tackle now. They're 40 metres out from the South Sydney line. Gillespie now. Well, both teams guilty of making very ordinary mistakes. Just trying to do too much with the football. Gillespie throwing a pass head to nobody. Only dived upon by a South player. South in these last couple of minutes, if they're to remain competitive in this game, cannot be scored upon and have to control the football. Good pass by, Tri by uh, from McRae. Trindle puts it to the boot. The bounce favours Manley's Matthew Ridge. Hancock goes inside. O'Donnell comes back to the blind. Terry Hill is there. There's some space. Terry Hill down the sideline. This time he looks to get a pass inside. Does so now. Hancock immediately away for O'Donnell. O'Donnell holding Elias at bay. Thinks about passing but takes the tackle. Big line to the left. Not that many South players have got that. Carroll fills into first receiver. Lyons is with it now. Cunningham the decoy. Menzies. He couldn't take it even though he seemed to have a hand around the throat area. Annesley saw it. Thought about it and said play on. And they're all but the Seagulls, all but scoring tries. That was Mellor coming in on Menzies. Two unmarked players for the Seagulls outside the winger. The ball again going to ground. 
joke, Menzies. He must have something in that headgear. Everybody wants to grab at it. He's got a good head for football inside it, I know that. Mellor coming off his wing. 40 metres out from his own line. 41 is Langford. McLean throws the dummy. There's the support. Corcoran, he'll get his second. Under the uprights. Jamie Corcoran scores his second try. Oh, good work, Aaron McLean. Yeah, great work, Aaron McLean. Always been a, a very good ball player. Sometimes forces the pass, but this time the pass was beautiful. They'll be dirty with themselves, Manly. They, they should have scored in the last couple of minutes. Got through the first line, McLean. Great work there from Jamie Corcoran to run into the gap, coming in off the wing. It was a line ball pass. The referee had a good look at it. This will show it up even better. Getting through the first line there, popped the ball up, took... Taken one-handed by Jamie Corcoran. He goes in untouched. It'll be 10 all, not far out from the break. Well, what an effort so far by South Sydney. Reduced to 12 men after probably 18 minutes of the game. This goal then to level the score, and Trindle does that. Ten points all, South and Manly. A great work here from McLean through the dummy, got in behind David O'Donnell and two Manly players couldn't stop him getting his arms free. A free run to the line for Jamie Corcoran. Matthew Ridge then starts another sequence of events at the at the football stadium. Of course, the home of the semi-finals this year. And that'll be a little bit different in 1995, but are we coming into one incredibly exciting semi-final series? Maybe the best ever. Certainly the best I can remember of five team semi-finals Langford I was about to say this is one of the most important sets of six of the game for South Sydney they've scored the try they nearly came up with the mistake McRae finally gets the kick in they could not hand the football over in their own territory from that set of six good tackle on Matthew Ridd but he doesn't hang on Corcoran is left to make the tackle now Tuvi works the blind side Terry Hill. A lot of uh, a lot of ground on this uh, this side of the ground. Terry Hill often flirting with the blinds or with the uh, the touch line. Menzies has attracted a lot of attention. Mark Carroll. Gillespie. Cunningham. Cunningham! Elias makes a desperate tackle. Five gone now. South rake it out. This will be the send bin. It is. Daryl Trindle gets ten minutes in the send bin. So Souths are down to 11 now. So will they take the tap, Manly? Not far out to half time. They're going to take the tap. O'Donnell steps up. Big line to the left. Carroll then runs the decoy. Tuvi sandwiched in the tackle by Langford and Doniger. Lions. Lions. Gillespie will score. He deserves that too because he's played very well, David Gillespie. Well, just too much to ask from South Sydney. 11 players on the paddock, 14 10 Manly. Go in right on the stroke of half time through David Gillespie's try, set up once again by Cliff Lines. 
Beautiful tackle here from John Elias. Trindle goes to dummy heart to, to marker. I'm sorry. There's the hand. Pulls it out. Really silly play. The, the work had been done by Elias. The defence was almost set. Fifth lines boots a couple of close in defenders. Wilson rushes up too quickly. Corcoran left in no man's land. And Gillespie improves the position just a touch. You see wrong foot's Duncan McRae through the dummy. He just can't overread Cliff Lyons. When he's got the football, he's got to end up on the ground. David Gillespie benefits from the beautiful work on the inside. Matthew Ridge then, right on half time. Three from three. This one from about 16 metres in from the sideline, straight between the uprights. And Manly will go to the break, leading South Sydney by 16 points to 10. We'll be back with the second half out of here at the Sydney Football Stadium on the other side of these messages. Welcome back to the Sydney Football Stadium for the second half. Manly leading South Sydney, 16 points to 10. And whichever way you look at it, South Sydney have got double trouble. Tyron Smith sent off after about 18 minutes of the game. And then, just before half-time, Daryl Trindle. He earned the wrath of the referee, and he, of course, has about nine minutes to go in the sin bin. So 11 South Sydney players against Manly. As Hermanson makes a break over the halfway line. Langford followed him through. McCray. Ball finding the line about 15 metres out from the Manly try line. We thought that South Sydney relied heavily on the, the Craig Field Darrell Trindle combination. Now's a chance to see them without either. Scrum setting it almost be kicked, attempted to kick the football straight away. No fullback. One straight line. And Duncan McCray drops back into that fullback role. So a very short line up front. Terry Hill. Into space, over the halfway, support, it's coming and Hill ran away from them. He paid the penalty, and now a penalty goes to Manley against the South Sydney tackler. Well, it was superb defence from Duncan McRae, along with one other su supporter as Manley go wide. They should have scored. Ridge cuts back to the right. Oh! A bone-rattling tackle from Hermanson. Gillespie. O'Donnell now. South with 11 men. Cliff Lyons is only just getting back into the line. O'Donnell. Tuvi. To the line. Hill did well. Hancock does the stepping and puts it over the line. Well, at last, they get it over the line. It was just a matter of time. They should have scored three rucks ago. Go eventually, Craig Hancock put a good move on Shane Wilson. Tuvi went for the gap. It's good, strong defence there from Jamie Corcoran. Then Hancock beat Shane Wilson. All ends up. Langford couldn't come up with the... Tackle before the line. Beautiful pass from Terry Hill to keep the ball alive. And that was lovely work from Craig Hancock, who really is enjoying a good season. 12 tries for the year. Here's testimony to that comment. Terry Hill getting some attention. As he got the pass away, his tackler came down on top of him. He's done some clever things today, Terry Hill. Maybe the fact that he opted to go himself three rucks before the try wasn't all that clever. But he's certainly having a fine game. 
and uh, emphasizing to selectors that he would not be out of place in a uh, in a kangaroo squad Ridge five meters in from touch 20 meters out and uh, Matthew Ridge misses the conversion attempt Manly leading then by 20 points to 10 Terry Hill still receiving attention and Graham Annesley calling timeout as the medicab has been ordered on to assist uh, Terry Hill this was a tackle on Terry Hill the one up around the head area but he did fall awkwardly in Jamie Corcoran's tackle as Hancock went on to score the try and there will be a replacement made for Terry Hill South Sydney then restart still only with 11 players and Greg Donaghy has gone on to take the place of the injured Terry Hill Manly back to the 20 meter line this is Dunford Donaghy is the reserve grade winger for Manly which means that Hopalati moves into the centres a double out of dummy half the defence there from Corcoran wraps him up David Gillespie. Carroll. Through Dunford. Menzies is with it. Three tries scored by Manley now. Two tries by South. Ridge. Keeps his kick low and it'll find the line. 15 metres away from the South Sydney try line. Feature scrum. Jason Sinclair was hurt in that last set of six, standing behind the scrum base. They win the scrum, and Melor has come into 5 8, Sinclair receiving attention. South, the task of rucking it out from inside their own 20 meter area. Jeremy Doniger, it was, who played the ball. Now Jason Bell, he ran into the waiting shoulder of Mark Carroll. Plain, almost out of the 40 meter line and bad news further bad news for South Jason Sinclair we're told will come from the field craze kick down the ground Ridge back on his 10 meter line it's an awful chase by South Sydney fortunately Duncan McRae comes up with a fine tackle because there was hardly a second line that had followed up Manly again, they'll throw the football around down here and make a bust. Well, they've run the play towards Jason Sinclair, who's hands off, hands off. out there at the moment, really, as a passenger. Menzies a dummy half. Oh, oh Doniger taken high by Sinclair. Lannersley has already issued the warning. Fancy that Sinclair has pleaded the case that he only had one arm anyway. So Sinclair comes from the field now and uh, via Pelliai has gone on to take his place. 
Still South Sydney with 11 men. Trindle in the sin bin. And Tyron Smith sent off. David Gillespie. Trindle goes back now from the sin bin. Dunford. Lions, Carroll. Lions again. He stands on one side and runs to the other. Ball comes down to South Sydney's Jamie Corcoran. Hermanson. Well, incredible the amount of injuries that have come out of this game. I guess Bob Fulton, the manly coach, is sitting in the grandstand with his fingers crossed that he's not going to lose any more players. Ian Roberts, Ells good. Anthony Rogers already on the sick list. And Terry Hill has left the field as Bell throws the dummy. Finds Darrell Trimble. Duncan McRae kicks for himself, gets the bounce and is tackled by Ridge. Trindle goes from dummy half. Support was in the centre, he went the wrong way. That could be a penalty there to South. Has to be. There's Donaghy offside there. Had to play at the football and South really had to kick for touch here pretty quickly, get things rolling. In an offside position, they take the tap, Trindle. He finds McRae and Bell. Wide they go for Terry Hermanson. 15 out from the line. Mellor. Five metres out from the line now. The plane to the blind side. Provided a pass in the first half. A beautiful pass for Jamie Corcoran's try. Now for Bell. Run around on with McRae. Bell kicks wide. Donaghy goes back and takes the corner post. That's a line dropout. That's good play from South Sydney, putting the run around door. They're a player short. That's trying to open something up. It wasn't a bad one. It forced the manly player to make a play on the ball. with his drop kick landing about 45 meters down the ground in the center of the field and Jason Bell is wrapped up by three manly tacklers 28 out from the manly line Mellor pushes off one not held in the second McLean gives a short pass to McRae McRae a face pass across for Bell Bell gets it back for McRae, then for McLean, now for Hermanson, pushed along the line, and it's with Doniger. Play back to McLean. Now for Trindle. Turned inside. Hermanson, quick passing. McLean is with it. He gets under one, looks to Langford, shovels the ball out. Langford is tackled. There's the ball coming out. Annesley looks at the touch judge who can't help him. And a scrum will go down. Let's have a look. The ball came out very quickly. Trying to get up Langford. I think he just lost it himself. A good opportunity there for South. That's come unstuck now as Manly go away from winning the scrum. 2v tackle on his own 20 metre line. Denny Moore! Hancock, he puts it down. 20 points to 10. Manly over South. South along the line. Bell. Really, it's only Manly's poor execution in finishing off their move that are keeping South Sydney in this game. Three or four times we've seen the Seagulls in almost certain try scoring positions, but somehow they haven't got the ball over the line. It's keeping the red and greens in it. They go wide. Second man to Doniger. Doniger pulled down by 
Jeff Tuvey. Trindle turns it back into the centre for Donegat. A short pass for Paul Mellor. 22 metres out from the Manly line. McLean for Trindle. Inside McLean, short pass for McRae. Five gone. Ball loose on the ground, and as he says, play on. Trindle puts a little kick in. Rich comes out for Manly now. Menzies! One-handed pass for Hapawati. Desperate defence by Jason Bell. Away from Donaghy. On from Tuvey. Lyons is with it. Driven into the ground by Langford. Dunford. This is Carroll. This is incredible from South Sydney. Everything is last-ditch stuff. Tuvi goes the blind side. They've got to crack shortly. Danny Moore offloads. Hancock inside. Lyons and Cliffy. He gets it down. Lyons scores for Manly. 24 points to 10. Good support play once again. Cliff Lyons, the architect of so many, finally gets a try himself. Tuvi going the blind side. They didn't come up together. Aaron McLean did not come up with the outside men. Danny Moore did well. Hancock taking in a good tackle, but able to keep the ball back inside. Owen Cunningham was unmarked on the inside of Lyons, but he kept his cool the 5-8 and put the ball down. See, McLean did not go up in number nine. Didn't go up, and that put pressure on Jamie... Corcoran and Daryl Trindle. Very good tackle from Shane Wilson. A two step there from Cliff Lyons. Takes McRae over the line. Ridge then from the sideline. 20 metres out. And what a magnificent kick by one of the magical kickers. 26 to 10, the Eagles. Well, it's been a valiant performance from South. The last three rucks before this try to Cliff Lyons, we thought the Seagulls were going to score. Eventually it had to come. John Elias has returned to the South Sydney side and uh, coming off is Jeremy Doniger as Mark Carroll returns the football to the 20 metre line Danny Moore clouding over at the football stadium getting quite dark in fact penalty goes to South Against David Gillespie for not getting up to play the football. Eight six the penalties to Manly. The South look for their third try. Played by Mestrol. Talia. Penalty goes to South. Manly raking the ball out. Hermanson. McRae. Long pass for Trindle. And then beautifully picked up by Corcoran. Two metres away from the line. McRae. Langford runs the dummy. And this is Mestral playing again cross for McRae holds it back and Mellor he's held by the Manly defence South with a couple of tackles left on this set McLean is tackled on five Duncan McRae 
off for Jason Bell. He rolls it into the end goal, and Cliff Lyons takes it over the dead ball line. The Souths will get the football back. Good little kick there from Jason Bell to ensure that his team gets another six shots at the opposition. Twenty-six to ten in favour of the Manly Warringah Sea Eagles. And here's South with the first of their six tackles from the line dropout. Langford buried under the Manly defence. Right, the men South have to get involved is Paul Mellor. Very few touches of the football out there. I think he's the strongest ball runner in their side. And he's got to come in and take some pressure off these guys in the middle have had to do so much work. Elias Trendall. Cuts out Bell. Cochran. The ball comes out the back. Wilson is with it. Elias. Trendall. Mestrov. South. Valiantly looking to find an opening. Mestrov back for Trendall. And then McRae flicks it out the back. But Gillespie is there for Manly. Ridge. Eventually, Melor and Trindle able to put the Manly fullback down. And this great pass by Duncan McRae under pressure, but it finished up in the wrong hands. Just outside the 20 metre line. Menzies. Magnificent game last weekend, but Stephen Menzies becomes even more proficient at the game. He's going to attract more and more attention. Talliai. Sending McRae back, and Lyons meets him and drives him back. Corcoran. John Elias. South with this passion to keep throwing the ball around, and well, they might. 26 to 10 down, and one player down for the major part of the game. It's a, a tribute to their tenacity. The ball across the line. Bell, he'll regather. He does that. Beautiful stuff. Miller kicks ahead. Hancock leads the race, and the ball beats them all. Well, that was magnificent work from Jason Bell. He said before that his kicking game has, has never been a strong part of his game, but doesn't that take some ability? Left-footed, catching it on the full. I don't know whether that was the right play from Miller. It was still reasonably early in the tackle count. He had a man on his left. The worst part was the ball went dead. Dunford takes it 38 metres out from his line. Carroll now, almost to the halfway. Tuvi, Lyons, wider for Menzies. Corker makes the tackle on Stephen Menzies. It's had a very good game, Jamie Corker coming back into the top grade. Scored a try, they go the blind again, Tuvi throws the dummy. There's McRae cleaning up once again and forcing the mistake. And cleaned up by 17, Jamie Corkin. Very involved. Trindle. I wonder who, in fact, is the captain of this South Sydney side right now. Terry Hermanson, a few metres short of halfway. Now Mestrov. Bell. Through McRae and onto Elias. My goodness, he's a busy player, John Elias. He uh, plays with great enthusiasm. Jason Bell. 
Mestrov out wide. Telei goes inside, but Annesley has ruled a forward pass. This house continued to take chances. Cut out pass from Jason Bell. Mestrov, short ball to Telei. He got into the hole, but he was just in front of the man passing. And from there at the end, the pass was thrown. Lions. Ridge. Lions goes round to support. Hancock dives on it. Manley just outside their 30 metre line. O'Donnell. Gillespie. Well, Ray, I think the Manly coach Bob Fulton will be extremely unimpressed with this performance from his side. Up against a 12-man team without Craig Field and Jason Sinclair. Really have squandered so many opportunities out there. Simple mistakes. Not the kind of performance he'd have been looking for only two weeks out from semi-finals. Tuvi, Lions. Menzies angles back as a decoy. Danny Moore. 40 metres out from the line now. Souths have got another player down injured. Cliffy Lyons rolls it over the touchline, or does he? Trindle brings it back before it reaches that point. And Trindle is beautifully tackled by Menzies. Mellor. Bell. Mestrov. Langford, who wants it? Hermanson, just inside the 20 metre line. 26 to 10, Manly. Four tries to two. Trindle almost lost it. Bell turns it inside. Scooped up by John Elias. Then away from McRae to McLean. McLean looks for Trindle. The ball goes to ground and dived on by Hopawati. More. Francis has gone on for South, taking the place of uh, Hermanson. David Alexander coming on for David Gillespie. Alexander in 21. <laughs> O'Donnell. 28 metres out from the South Sydney line. Lions held it back beautifully. Rich draws the last line. And Manley through Owen Cunningham get another try. 30 points to 10. And the game was the quality passing game of Cliff Lyons. Really all the tries scored by the Seagulls this afternoon have somehow involved this man. He's going up, committing two defenders. The outside defender for South Sydney staying out, and that allowed the gap to open up for Matthew Rich. Who drew and pass the pass from Ridge again wasn't particularly good. Cunningham had to reach behind. But you'll see here what Lyons is able to do. Beautiful work in holding it up. Shane Wilson staying on the outside. And there Cunningham just having a turn sideways a little bit to catch the pass thrown by Matthew Ridge. Six tries, 30 points to 10. Pinpoint accuracy. Magnificent kicker. 32 to 10, Manly over South. Lions involved in every try, as Peter said. He'll be on that plane 
with the Kangaroos. Many are saying that he will. As I said earlier in the telecast, this is the 100th meeting of Manly and South. Manly has won 50. The 99 decided. There's been no drawn results, which is quite incredible. And there's been some marvellous matches down through the years between these, of all the clubs, probably the, the greatest arch rivals of all in the modern era. And here's John Hubbelotti, supported outside Donaghy. Well, he's held it up too long. That is the perfect example of how to make a try. Fifth lines find, found a gap for Hubbelotti. Again, the part great, Ali staying out. Now he's got men on his inside. He tries to beat them on the outside and position his winger. And nothing apart from come up with a bad pass. Ali for South. 35 out from his own line. Just letting some of the flashes between these two clubs. He's 70. That was the grand final won by South since John Sattler played with the broken jaw. You'd never forget that. As Bell gets over the halfway line, Melor runs across the ground, trying to link up support, throws the dummy and reaches the 20 metre line. That went backwards, McCray, Bell. Up. Ball came out and put on Susanna's lead. This is Francis. Now Elias inside for Langford. Langford. Oh, he was over the line. And then Menzies picked him up. Trindle away for Mellor. Mellor's a meter from the line. Last out for McRae. It came off the legs. Lions. The turnover he claimed that Lions didn't play it. Well, they exhausted the South Sydney players. They've tried everything. It's really fine. Donnie, Jason Bell. He's had a great game, Jason Bell. He's tried everything. He's not getting out from marker now. All of a sudden, for South Sydney, they're back on the defence to, to continue to chase. Fulton has gone on for Manly, taking the place of David O'Donnell. put a forward pass together in their exchanges and a scramble pack down it was Carroll's pass to Dunford Mellor to take it in. Trill turns it around for Wilson. And Shane Wilson is held 30 metres out from the Manly line. Trill back for McRae who runs the angle. And now it's Corcoran. Corcoran gets away from Hancock. He's only 15 metres out from the line. <laughs> the watch out there. They just show everything. Jason Bell. Off the ground, it's with Mestra. Now Melor, he decides to kick. And Matthew is just in time. This is how Sydney have got this wish to entertain. Come what may. Even winning by a mile or trailing by a mile. They still want to entertain, it would seem. Not much wrong with that idea, I suppose. Although a lot of coaches would disagree. Says Francis. 
center of the ground, 30 meters up the Manly line. Metrov had a strong run. Been very, uh, very good for Manly today. So has John Lias. It's been a courageous effort when you look at it right across the park. McClay ran into the shoulder of Carroll. The ball comes out. And Annesley is going to put a scrum down. To be coming around to win scrum. And Lions combining. And Lions draws a couple of them. Popawati. Popawati. Pull down on the 40 meter line. Scott Fulton. Lions. David Alexander, out the back for Fulton, Rich, Groovy, Lions, inside, Fulton, out the back, Tooby to scamper back and win up, the Lions now for Manly, Kicked ahead by Dunn McRae. A chance for South Sydney. The number seven, he's lost it. Cunningham comes back for Manly. Well, it looks like an Australian rules game. We've got Manly players down amongst the South players and vice versa. Ender and stuff. Drop ball galore. Duncan McRae again, you've got to feel sorry for South Sydney in the, the try scoring situation. Good ball to pick off Fulton. Pushes off Trimble. Fulton gets his pass away, but goes down behind Hancock. Carroll, reaching the 30 metre line. 32 to 10 in favour of the Eagles. Lions. And referee Dennis Lee to put a screen down. We've got to say that if Manly had played like this against 13 South Sydney players, we could have almost had a different result. I think individually the performances of the other days have been far better than the overall ones from this Manly team. If it hadn't been for the wizardry of Flyons and finally putting the trolley passes on, we would have been in some trouble. Bell. Trindle, Tally-Eye, that is Shane Wilson, he's lost it, another scrum to go down. Tally-Eye's pass back inside for Wilson, there's a hand in there from Danny Moore, forced the ball out, It'll be a manly feed. Lions across the park, trying to promote something for somebody. Made by Bridge. Now Menzies, yet to get amongst the try scorers, and then crunched into the ground by Elias. 15 from the line. Popper one. Short passing, and there's the try. Hancock in the corner. game with so many tries being scored by Manly, you've almost got to say it was about time because they'd had opportunities before. South Sydney handing the football over. Menzies makes a great base break, but have a look at the tackle by John Elias in cover defence. 
No South Sydney defenders to the left there compared to the Manly attackers. Dummy thrown by Hopewadi. Short ball, quick hence move lines onto Dunford, who made a bird of it by picking up a winger Hancock. Duncan McRae didn't come up with a tackle. And the quick hands of Cliff Lines again was the key element of that try. Hancock probably only had to catch him, pass, catch him, put the ball down. Matthew Ridge way out there at the junction of the 20 and touchline. Six from seven. There she flies. Looks good. Oh! Isn't it a treat to watch them? 38 to 10, the Eagles over the Rabbitohs. Shallow restart by Daryl Trendall. Menzies comes up with it. Last seconds of the game. Cliffy Lyons. Moore. And now Hancock. Centre field kick. Lyons will probably come up with it. Kelly I kicked it off the ground. Picked up by Fulton. Hopewadi back into the centre. Beats another, bounces off another. Ten meters out, 16 seconds to go. Lions, Carroll, knocked down by the Rabbits. Well, that will be it. The scrum will not have time to pack. And Manly has beaten South Sydney in their 100th encounter, 38 points to 10. Six tries to two, the order of the day. But Manly, as Peter Sterling has said a couple of times, a long, long way from impressive. And Bob Fulton would be far from happy with them, but I guess when you think about it, the number of times that a team is left with 12 men, as Southward today, after about 20 minutes, Tyron Smith sent off. How many times does the impetus fall out of uh, the opposition? Sometimes they, they, they lull into a false sense of security, I think. And coming into the game with no Craig Field in the side for Souths.